Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to my surprise <laughs> online bonus class. I promised you guys this weekend we will be making this super stinking cute snowman tower. I have to hold him up because he is just so adorable. He is made from Stampin' Up! Tiny Treat Boxes and he's filled with little starlight mints, hot chocolate, and mini marshmallows and he's just so adorable and he's so quick and easy to make. You guys are going to die when you see how quick and easy this little guy is to make. And so I know that I personally am looking for really quick and easy but super cool holiday uh, gift uh, giving ideas. Perfect for the teachers, per perfect to give with a gift card or without by itself for your friends, your neighbors, the grandkids. Just love it. And um, before we get started and while you guys are popping on, um, and my apologies for being uh, surprised live <laughs> today, I do hope to be able to start scheduling now that we're kind of um, working out the kinks on some of the problems that we had with the software, um, still working on it, so I'm not able to schedule, but I should be able to have times ahead of time after today. And I apologize for that because I, I just... I wasn't sure how long it was going to take me to get everything worked out this morning with the, the technical issues. So I, I, I just didn't want to commit to a time and then end up not being able to follow through because that is so hard. I know, I know. But I'm very excited that we get it almost done. And um, a little share because it was an exciting weekend on many fronts. Um, as some of you know, if you're uh, a subscriber to my newsletter, um, let me see if I can get this to... It's not, it's not, there we go. Okay. If you are a subscriber to my newsletter, you probably are aware that, um, oh, that is just not working for me today, that I am, uh, one of my hobbies in addition to stamping is aerial photography. And um, so I absolutely, absolutely love, and that this is just not going to work, so I'm just going to tell you about how beautiful it was yesterday. We had our first um, snowfall. And um, it was just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And um, I was able to get out there. I know it's it's not playing, so whatever. I know it's a dark screen. <laughs> I'm just there to freak you out. Anyways, it was just absolutely beautiful. I'll share it in my newsletter because I was just, I was, it was just so peaceful and so beautiful with the snow falling. And I just, I, I couldn't wait to get out there and, and, and photograph and take some, some pictures of it. So it was really, really an awesome, awesome morning. So anyways... Um, it, it, back to the stamping, back to our regular scheduled stamping time. Um, I have lots of giveaways today and, um, the giveaways are all holiday stuff, all from the holiday catalog that's retiring by the way. Um, since the holiday catalog's retiring these products, some of them are starting to sell out. Um, the holiday catalog products that are retiring are going to be gone as of, um, the second of, um, January will be the last day if anything is still available. So you want to get it now. And you want to get it now because Stampin' Up! just announced free shipping. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Uh, it's only one. It's only today. So here's what I've got to give away. I've got a Be Merry kit, an at-home kit, um, an at-home bundle. This is the stamp set and the dies, a full bundle. And um, the Carols of Christmas and the Card Builder die, full bundle right there. These are huge, huge, big, awesome giveaways. Yay! And I want to do them now, and I'm, I'm, I'm drawing it a little bit early. Like, these will be live. I'll do these at the end. But the after live, in case you didn't win a live or in case, you didn't, if, in case you're watching this after um, the live broadcast, is going to be December 20th. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing it a little bit sooner than I normally do because they're Christmas stuff, and I want you to get it in time for Christmas to enter. Leave a comment here on this video. If you leave a comment, you're automatically entered into all the drawings. If you share this broadcast and you type the word shared into the comments, S-H-A-R-D, um, I will enter you a second time into the after live drawing. So you get a bonus entry into this drawing that I'm going to do on December 20th. So it doubles your chances and I appreciate the love. I really appreciate when you guys share. It means so much to me and I love, I love sharing with you, which is what I do here and that's what I love to do. Um, so those are the giveaways, um, the live and the after live. Now, um, and before we get started, I have to tell you, I, I just gave you a little snippet of this, but free shipping, it's happening. It is happening today only, Monday, 
Um, they Stampin' Up! just announced it yesterday. It was kind of a surprise, just like I'm surprised live. It's a surprise sale. We're here, and um, you can purchase in my online store. The link is in this video's description. Um, it's also, there's a button on my Facebook page. There's buttons on every single page on my blog. It's very easy to get to, stampatami.com. Click online shipping. Boom, you're there. And if you see something you like here today, like the tiny treat boxes that we used to make the little snowman we're about to make, and you want to buy them, don't worry that you've already placed an order this month because it's free shipping. It doesn't cost any extra to go in there and place your order for the tiny treat boxes and anything else you want to get on there, including what's on sale. There's a sale going on right now, retiring items that are just about to go away. And in addition to that, you can double dip and you get my double frequent buyer point offer, which ends on December 15th. So this, the one day shipping is only today, but you can combine it with the frequent buyer point special and you can combine it with the year end sale. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, there's a whole lot of stuff there, whole lot of stuff. So um, that is what's happening here in Stampin' Up! World. Again, free shipping today only. It, th this was a surprise announcement from the company. I didn't learn about it till yesterday afternoon. I tried to spread the word as much as possible, and I'm spreading it right now. Run, don't walk over to the store. Take advantage of that. It ends at midnight tonight, and that is mountain time, stamping up time. That's actually 11 to 59. Don't be on there at the last minute because the system has been known to crash, and then you don't want to miss out on this awful, on the, the special deal. Okay, so who's ready for some stamping? You ready to make this cute little snowman? I am. Okay, so we are coming down here to the, the table. I've got, um, oh, <laughs> I forgot which camera I'm using here. It would help if I held him up the right way. So here he is. He's made out of tiny treat boxes, and I am going to show you um, what those are. I'm just going to move. These are the, the giveaways that I'm moving out right here. There's a Be Merry ornament kit. My mom just made this. She's like, oh, my gosh, these ornaments are beautiful. She's giving them away to her friends with gift cards. And um, these are all the live prizes. They're bundles today. I'm giving away bundles. All you got to do is leave a comment. And the after live will be December 20th for the Carols of Christmas. Okay. So here we go. So our little snowman, so flipping adorable. Um, he was actually designed by Renee. And I hope, Renee, that I'm saying your name right. It's Cone. K-O-H-N-E. Cone. I think it's Cone. Cone, maybe. It's just, he's so adorable. I saw it on her blog and I was like, oh my gosh, we have to make this because I personally am looking for quick and easy ideas. Something that we can do, you know, in a pinch that's really adorable and this this little guy fit the bill. What you're looking at here is um, my free PDF. I offer these with every online class and um, you can get it free on my blog and there's a link in this video's description. Now, if you're not familiar with my blog and how it works, um, I have... Every video that I do, I have a coordinating blog post that has all the information, including a replay of the video on it. All of the supply list is on there, links to the online store to get them really quick and easy. A free PDF here so that you can take notes if you need to, along with all the supplies that we're using. And um, normally I have a QR code down here, but I just noticed that it's missing, so I'll try to remember to do that later. But there is also a URL that you can type in here. So if you save these, this is a quick link to get right back to this this project. So that if you, you want it next week after you get your supplies in, you want to go back and look at it and see what we did, all you got to do is type that in and bam -o, here we are, right, right there. So um, you can download that for free on my blog. And um, the ribbons that I'm using today are coming out of the holiday catalog that's retiring. I just have to make a note that, um, that actually two of them, one of them's in the big one, but these two are, and they may sell out, and they may sell out today. So if they're still available at all, you can get them with the free shipping. You can get them with my double frequent buyer point offer. So um, be sure to take advantage of all of that, as well as these tiny treat boxes, because they're so flipping adorable. So these are in my online store. Stampin' Up! carries them. They're two inch by two inch little acetate boxes. Look at how cute, and I mean, so easy. Now, when you get it, do you see this right here? This is a protective film to keep it from getting stretch, scratched when it's in shipping and waiting to come to you. So you just peel that right off, and then you have this beautiful clear box. It's a little hard to see on camera. And so that just, the, the bottom just kind of folds in, and boom. We have Instabox. And there's so many cute things you can do with these. I mean, we just, I've, I've wrapped chocolates and put chocolates in these. The little Giardelli chocolates fit really perfectly. And we've done that on a, a previous class. So um, this is, 
we need three of these for our snowman, but I mean, just quick and easy things. If you're looking for quick and easy things, these are perfect for many, many different occasions. They'll probably come back at Valentine's Day. I'll be doing it again because <laughs> I love them. And again, they're quick and easy. Okay. All right. AC, Donna, when you say AC, are you, do you mean annual catalog? I'm sorry. I'm not familiar with that terminology. I think you mean annual catalog, and yes, these boxes are in the annual catalog, if that's what you mean. She said boxes from AC. <laughs> They're not from AC more. They are from my online store, if that's what you meant. Um, okay, so I've got, I'm, I'm taking three of these, and um, oh my gosh, the package doesn't say. I forgot how many come in a package. If someone wants to shout that out. Oh, 16. It does say on there. 16 in a package. So just so you know how many packages you need <laughs> if you're doing these for a bunch of people. All right, so I'm putting together three cute little boxes. And not only am I surprised today, but this one's probably going to be a quick online class because this is such a quick and easy project to make. Oop, okay, tuck those in so it's nice and firm. And we've got our three boxes already to go. Okay, so we're going to put those aside. Now, in our three boxes, we have three items, and these, I should note, are um, they're acid-free and they're food-safe. So we have three, uh, two food items, actually three, but one's wrapped, that we're putting in it. So the ones that are wrapped are the Starlight Mints. Put those in. That's going to make up the bottom layer of our snowman. Right, Adrian? So quick and easy. These are just such, it's such a hit at Christmas time when you find these awesome little projects that you can you can make to give to people and they're just like oh my gosh it's that special little handmade touch the crafters in us love All right, so our starlight mints are in one container one one part of our snowman tower next up is our mini marshmallows now i'm going to try to do my best to do this i did wash my hands before i started but i played around with some of the supplies since then, so I'm going to do my best to put these little guys in there without touching them with my hands. Because, <laughs> you know, the container's food safe. We want your hands to be clean because we don't want people putting food in their mouths that you've touched. Does that sound like the mother in me? <laughs> All right. Trying to be so graceful here. Stop laughing. All right. Go ahead. Laugh. It's worth it. <laughs> Oh, good times. Good times with mini marshmallows. What I probably should have done is just measure them out ahead of time so I didn't have... Okay, so this little guy fell on the table, so I'm just eating it. I know that was rude, wasn't it? Eating while I'm on the camera, but... Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> I might have a couple more while I'm sitting here. All right, so our last box here is for the... Um, the, the hot cocoa. Now, one thing I, I, I did adjust this last box a little bit because I put the powder right in the box. I thought it looked better than putting it in a bag. The bag kind of took away from the project a little bit. So I didn't want the hot cocoa to slide out the bottom right here. I cut, um, some two inch by two inch clear window sheets. And those are in my online store. And of course I can't find the one that I, I this is, it's so hard to see these little window sheets. Um, so I'm actually going to recut this one since I can't find the one I actually cut ahead of time. Okay. So I, I know it's hard to see, but I'm lining it up at the two inch mark and just cutting a little two inch square out of that window sheet with my paper trimmer. And that is going to layer, and I'm going to stick it down with some adhesive. Um, I'm using tear tape adhesive, but I just want to be sure that it doesn't, uh, I want to be sure that it doesn't, it doesn't move around and I don't want any hot cocoa spilling out. That's my ultimate goal. Tear tape is like my friend. <laughs> you could use fast fuse as well. If you're a fast fuse person, if Rachel's on here, she's the queen of the fast fuse, but tear tape is my go-to for the strong stuff. Okay. Mary, you could use whatever baggie you want to for the hot chocolate. She's asking, what about gusset bags? Um, the reason why I'm not using one is because I really thought it looked better um, with the hot chocolate right, right on in the box without without a baggie. But I'm sure it looks good with a baggie, too. You could you could 
you could definitely use our gusset bags. Okay, so I'm just placing that down there to keep that from to keep the cocoa from spilling out. So then I've got our little box of Swiss Miss. I know here in the in the White House, in my house, <laughs> we have um, a hot cocoa maker. Like uh, the kids got it for Christmas a while ago, and oh my gosh, we absolutely love that in the winter time. That's what that's our thing. You know, we don't drink coffee here; we drink hot chocolate. So we we always have these big containers handy, and. Um, so this was two heaping spoonfuls of hot chocolate for um, per a cup per the instructions on the on the on this particular one. I actually put three in to make it a little chocolatey because it looked better. I know, I know, bad girl, but yum, right? Now I did another little adjustment to this box to keep that um, hot chocolate in there, and that was. Um, Oops, sorry, lost your comments. My iPad just restarted on me. And that was, I took some tape. Isn't that super cute? Oh my gosh, I love that. My mom got that for me. Sorry, I'm just moving another iPad in here so I can read your comments. I took this and just kind of sealed around the top edges of just the hot chocolate one, again, so that nothing spills out. And we are, uh, this is all going to be hidden in our end project, but they're just the little tips that will keep it from just keep it from spilling is all. Again, you, you know, like Mary said, you could use a gusset, um, a little gusset baggy if you wanted to. I just liked it better with the hot cocoa right in that little box, personally. Okay, so now that we have our three filled containers, and I suppose it doesn't matter which way they are, but I'm kind of going to line them up so that they're all facing the same direction, which is there, there, and there. So, and the reason why I'm, let's see, the little tab that opens the, the lid, I put that in the back. That's going to be his back. All right, so this is the layer we got right there. Now I'm going to um, make his, before I put them all together, I'm going to put his little face on, which was just fairly easy here. <laughs> Isn't that funny, Joni? She says she loves the tape dispenser. Crack me up. Especially cracks me up when I see the kids, <laughs> my boys using it. <laughs> Oh, so funny. Okay, now um, for the nose, all I did was I, I just cut like a little, like this time, I, sometimes I use punches and stuff, but this particular time, I literally just cut it freehand out of a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock. So we've got his little carrot nose. I know I almost never, ever do freehand stuff, but this time it seemed the right thing to do. All right, so next I'm taking the, it, this is the, the cookie cutter punch, which he's a gingerbread man. Again, these are all available in my online store, free shipping today only. And I'm taking the two eyeballs, the larger eyeballs from that. And we actually need, let's see, we've got six. So we need nine all together. So we're going to have to punch out a couple of these. I know it would have been nice of me to punch them out ahead of time, but you guys can have some fun punching with me, right? Good times. Always a good time. And it's Monday morning, so what better way to start the week than with a little stamping fun, right? Especially now that I can get live again. Oh my gosh, what a what a trying weekend that was. I don't realize how much, how, how much I love doing these online classes until I couldn't do them. <laughs> and then I guess it's the same with everything, right? And then as soon as I couldn't do them, boy, was I really missing being on here. I'm not doing a very good job lining these up. Sorry for that. Okay. And now we have some extras. But it's all good. Okay. So to attach these to the box, just some mini glue dots, quick and easy. And we'll start with this little smile. So I stuck these right onto the mini glue dot. So I didn't stick my finger to the, the glue dot and then to, to whatever I'm sticking on there. It just eliminates the middleman. I guess I like to say it eliminates the middleman, eliminates that middle finger. <laughs> I'm kidding. Nobody, nobody's actually giving them the middle finger. So here we are. I'm just making a little smile here.
This one has a little bit more spread than my other one, but that's okay. They are all cute. Stick his little... Stick his little carrot nose on there. And two eyes made out of coal. Juan, you want to sing along with me, don't you? Yeah, I can count this morning, right? Right? How many of these did I say I needed? Nine? And I got 11. <laughs> uh, I've got some for another one because you know I'm going to be making more than one. Absolutely. So three go on this box right here. And... Okay, all righty. So we have got our um, boxes all decorated. They're all ready to go. Now to attach them together, we want them in the right order, build our snowman. I took some of this as the, um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank on the name of this one. Can I have my supply list handy? It's the uh, metallic edge ribbon. This one's actually in the, um, in the big catalog, but these guys are in the little one that are retiring. Okay, so this just wraps around. And if you wanted to put a little adhesive in between the boxes, you could do that too. But this keeps them all together. So they, they make one big, one big snowman and he doesn't go flopping all over the place. You can tie a bow, you can tie a knot. Actually, I am going to tie a knot in that one because I want it to be tight and my bows are not all that tight. Especially not when I'm working under the camera. Okay. So, here we go. He is all lined up, tied up. And next up, uh, we are going to attach the little spoon, which I do have over here. I do have a spoon. That's going to go on the side, and that is being attached with this striped ribbon and the striped ribbon is the one that is I'm most worried about this one being discontinued because selling out because it was very popular it's got a little wire in it so it holds its shape which is really really cool um, it's in the holiday catalog it's a 7 8 inch striped ribbon and I'm just gonna cut some of that off and again don't forget today only free shipping so if you if you needed some of this and you want to get it before it sells out there's no minimums on those orders. Order it. Order the tiny tree boxes while you're there too. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna tie that in a little knot over there on the side. That is a really good idea, Teresa says. She's stocking up on her adhesives today with the free shipping. That is a really good idea. Stocking up on everything. So now the spoon just slips right in there on the side. And the last thing we have is his hat. So his hat, actually, this is kind of interesting. Um, this came from gloves I got at Walmart. This Okay, so this is um, a two pair, two pair of gloves, women's gloves that I got at Walmart. And they were like $2.50 for the, the pack of two. So that's four that for $2.50. That was crazy. So we just need one per snowman. And I took the thumb part and I just tucked that under. So that didn't show. And then I just cut the fingers off so it was kind of like a hobo glove hat. And that just slides right over his cute little head. So you don't see the top of that, that ribbon on there. Right? So cute. Whoops. Oh, come back to me, baby. Come back to me. <laughs> All right. And the last piece of this little guy here is tying on the silver tinsel onto the hat. Sherry, um, you are absolutely correct. The sale started this morning on Mountain Time. 
I tried to make sure that was noted everywhere, and I'm pretty sure Stampin' Up! did too. That stinks. If you want, um, you can call them. She said she placed an order at 1 a.m. East. She was thinking it was Eastern time. Um, you can call the company at 800 Stamp Up. They might be able to do something for you. They might be able to back it up and put it back in since it's still today and it's still the free shipping day. They're pretty good about stuff like that, taking care of us when things like that happen. So, you know, I mean, they wouldn't if it was a couple of days ago, but if, if it was just 1 o'clock in the morning and it's still today, I think they can do that. They're pretty awesome to work with. And their projects are and their products are pretty awesome too, right? So there is our flipping adorable little snowman. Again, thanks again to Renee Cohn for this awesome, awesome project. So adorable. So that is um, what we have to make today. Last is um, just some giveaways and a reminder that the Stamp and Scoop show is tomorrow it is our season finale tomorrow of the stamp and scoop show linda and i will be back hopefully at noon things are going well so hopefully we'll still be able to simulcast sim simulcast i can't even say the word on both of our channels at noon that is eastern time that that we go live um and it will be our last one of the year we are having a retirement party of all retirement stuff that's hopefully some of it's still left the ones that we're showing that we already have set up because we have mega mega ideas to share with you guys all right so on that note let's uh give away some prizes if you have left a comment you are automatically entered into this drawing and um this right what you're looking at right now is my project page for this um this snowman treat we're going to pop on over to the giveaway site and do this live. So the first thing I have to give away is the at home, the at home with you bundle. And that winner is, wait for it, Teresa Hayes. Congratulations, Teresa. Be sure to fill out the prize claim form. Our next winner is for the Be Merry kit. This is the, um, Ornament kit. Linda and I did this on the Stampin' Scoop show if you want to see it actually done in action. It's a beautiful kit. Again, my mom was put them together and was using them to go with gift cards to give to her friends. Heather Clay, congratulations on winning the Be Merry kit. That's another thing that's retiring, by the way, in the catalog. And our last winner is for the first Carols of Christmas bundle with the card builder Thinlets. And the winner of that is Cheryl Stinson. We have one more um, Carols of Christmas bundle to give away. And that winner uh, will be drawn on the 20th. Hold on. Let me find the information somewhere, somewhere. There it is. That winner will be drawn on December 20th. All you need to do to enter is leave a comment. If you share this video, you will be entered a second time. And um, this, again, one more quick look at that super adorable project made with the tiny treat boxes from Stampin' Up! And um, you can get those in my online store. Linda and I will see you right back here tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time with more prizes, more giveaways, and tons more ideas with the season finale of the Stampin' Scoop Show. Thanks for joining me today.